Okay, so today I wanted to go over the very basics of braking. Unfortunately, I couldn't get my front camera to work, so I won't be using that today. Kind of leave that down. But for braking, I guess you don't really need to see a view of me. So, again, this is geared towards very new riders who may be thinking about getting into it. I'll go over some techniques, but of course the very basics. This is your front brake, which means it applies your front brake. Whether you have a single disc or dual disc front brake, this will apply your brake or brakes up front. Your rear brake will always be right here in front of your rear foot, uh, your right foot peg or your right um, floorboard. It'll be, you'll see a lever there, that is your rear brake. So let's get going, I'll kind of go over the base of high brake. Alright, it's my first time uh, using my winter army boots to uh, take my bike in. It feels a little bit weird. I think they're a bit big for this bike. But anyway, so when you're coming to a stop, it's all, it is always best practice to use both brakes at the same time. Okay, so you're going to want to gradually apply front brake and gradually apply rear brake when you're coming to a stop. So it's gradually applying both. Nothing, no sudden movements, no suddenly pressing your foot down really hard, but sudden movements to come to a stop. Um, but um, not sudden movements coming to a stop. So nice applied um, gradual movements when you're coming to a stop, which I'll show you here when I come up to the stop sign here in a bit. So on my road glide, my front and rear brakes are actually linked. So there's like a linked brakes braking system which means when I apply front brake some rear brake is being applied when I apply my rear brake some front brake is being applied which helps but I still use front brakes when coming to a complete I still use both brakes when coming to a complete stop on this this does not have a linked braking system so you're gonna want to brake gradually both with your rear and front brake and of course you want to grab your clutch when you're about to come to a complete stop and then when you come to a complete stop, hold, keep holding your brakes and put your foot down. Okay, and get both feet down once you, you come to a complete stop if you're comfortable. If you have to stay on that um, rear brake because you're on a hill, then um, you can always just stay on the rear brake or just stay in your front brake while you're stopped. Okay, so another thing is, say you're coming into this a little bit fast, this corner right here, so I'm coming in a bit fast. I'm going to gradually only apply some front brake until I slow down a bit, until I get to my desired speed, and then I'll roll into the corner, okay? You don't want to um, slow yourself down with rear brake um, when you're coming into a corner. Well, you can. The thing is, if you're in that corner and all of a sudden you kind of panic and you stomp on that rear brake, you will lock that rear wheel up um, and you'll have some issues. So coming in again through here, I'm going to be apply I'm just gonna apply, apply some front brakes through this corner just so that it's nice and comfortable when I actually don't even need to. I'm coming in at a pretty, at 50 is not a bad speed to take that corner in. So it's always light movements. When I'm saying applying brake, it doesn't mean just grabbing a handful of it right away. It is, it is grabbing it gradually. So just a little bit of brake like this. So you're not, um, you're nothing uh, too sudden happens. taking a right turn, not this one, but the next one coming up. I'm going to start to slow down a bit for it. I actually slow down a bit with some engine braking, which of course is just um, downshifting and letting the RPM, the, the, the race and the RPM slow me down. But when I'm coming through here, I'm going to uh, apply some front brake and turn into this right turn. Okay. Same thing here, a little bit of front and rear while I'm coming to here. And I could actually just off of both turn into it. Okay. So braking is uh, it's pretty simple. Um, just one thing that's a little bit different from braking on a motorcycle compared to what a lot of people are used to, like in a car or something, is that one brake is doing everything. It's just remember you have two brakes doing two different things. Um, if you're especially if you're doing any sudden movements on any single brake you can really throw that suspension off and you want to do it nice and lightly so let me pull into here a little bit of a little bit of both brakes 
pulling into here one thing i want to show you is coming to a stop what i see a lot of people do is when they're coming to they're looking left and right they're doing a whole bunch of things when you're coming to a stop you know get your clutch in apply both brakes gradually come to the stop say i want to stop on that white line i'm i'm i know i want to stop on the white line boom and then if i have to look look left and right now i'm looking left and right i'm not doing it before i get to my stop so i'll do it again up there so say i'm going Say I want to stop right at that intersection. So I'm going to start to pull the clutch in, get into one. I'm not looking left and right yet, not looking left and right. I'm concentrating on stopping both brakes and I'm stopped. And then I'll look left and right. So concentrate on your stop first. So I've, I've noticed when people don't do that, they end up doing very jerky things coming to a stop. Like their wheels are canted or something and they're coming into like these very sudden, like where they look like they're about to fall off the bike when they come to a stop. So you want to gradually apply both brakes to come to a stop. So while I'm back here, once I get past these trucks, I want to kind of go over emergency braking, which is almost the same thing. So say, say I'm in two, and say by the time I get to those cones, I have to come to a complete stop. I'm going about 25, everything in, and then you, then you stop, okay? So the way that works is, I think of it as like everything going in. So. I was in two, so both brakes and the clutch squeeze simultaneously, the shifter going down, brake pedal going down at the same time, but no sudden movements, it's gradually coming to a stop, okay? Let me do that one more time. If I'm coming through here, I'm coming to, I want to come to a pretty sudden stop at these white lines. Everything down, everything down, boom. And come through, I can come even quicker than that. It's just um, no, not, no need to. If I do it all in one, say I need to stop by the time I get to that first truck. Everything down, everything stopped, okay? You can see I, push, I pulled forward a little bit on that because of the, uh, you know, the um, momentum on the bike stopping. Let me get it past, let me stop past the volume in two. I'm gonna stop at this white car. Boom, just like that. You wanna come be able to come to a stop like that. So that's emergency braking, and of course regular braking. If I'm coming to a stop here, it's just pulling in this clutch, applying both brakes, not looking left and right yet. Just coming to my stop there, and then now, now I'm good to go left. Same thing here, coming to a stop completely first, then looking left and right, nothing too jerky. So you want to concentrate on your stop first before you do anything else. Don't feel rushed with a lot of these things. That's what ends up happening is people feel rushed and they end up making those um, bad mistakes when riding. You want to do everything in a um, smooth way, even, that, even the quick braking. So you want to do everything in a nice smooth way. So if I want to take this right turn right here, getting brakes in, off the brakes. Bogging out a bit there. So I didn't realize I was still in two. All right, so coming to the stop again. Look, gradually applying both brakes while the clutch is in. Still looking straight, thinking about my stop. I need to stop right here. And I'm on a downhill, so I'm looking left, looking right. Then I'm clear, then I'll go. You don't need to do anything too sudden, too fast. You just want to do nice, um, smooth movements, okay? I'll do one more time turning into here. I'm going to slow down pretty much, so got to a one, a pretty big slow. Practically a, a right U-turn here, boom. I'm pretty much at a stop now. I can actually just use my rear brake to stabilize me going at like five miles an hour or less. You can pick up speed by releasing the clutch, whatever you have to do. So.
So the rear brake is one of the things that really stabilizes you when you're um, doing slow speed maneuvers. But of course, when you're coming fast in two corner, never um, set yourself up to kind of mash on that brake. Okay, again, come to a stop first, then check if it's clear and go. Okay, so those are the very basics of braking. I hope this was helpful. Um, for those of you who aren't very comfortable on the brakes, I hope that um, I didn't miss anything. If you still have questions about it, let me know. Um, I can try to clarify in the comments, but I think it's a pretty simple concept. If we're um, trying to brake, just make sure um, we're doing it safely and that you're aware of how to um, properly brake so that come the times that you do need either an emergency situation or just a brake, that you're doing it comfortably. All right, so going to be coming out with a few more videos in the future. Hopefully my front camera will work. Right now I'm getting this thing that keeps on saying um, that keeps on saying um, SD card locked when I try to record with this front camera right with my other my Hero 2 right now, which I don't understand why it's doing that. So um, hopefully I don't run into that issue. But again, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, and like I always say, have a blessed day, y'all. Thank you.